Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing the Triglavians and my thoughts of whether I believe them to be good or bad for Eve. So at the end of last week I was asked the question of whether I thought the Triglavians were good or bad for Eve and as I started typing the comment I was I was decided on a specific route and as I was typing the um, the answer out, that route generally changed. And the more I thought about it, the more it kind of changed. So I wrote out my response uh, to the reply to the question and then deleted it, rewrote it, deleted it. And the more I did this, the more I decided that this probably warrants its own video due to it being quite a large issue or topic within EVE at the moment. So the initial response that I was going to give was yes, yes I do believe the Triglavian and the Triglavian invasion is good for Eve. And that's generally due to the fact that it it messes things up, it disturbs the, the current order of things. And that has to be good for a game that's coming on for 18 years old. And with the fall of Najar and the rest of it, you know, there's constant invasions going on, there's stuff to do, people are involved and the landscape of EVE is generally changing slowly but surely in one way or another whether it's just adding more jumps or whether you're having to avoid systems or whether you're having to go around half the uh, the universe as it is to get to wherever it is that you go in and again just the constant change is you know it adds variation to something that has been very static for such a long time now I've played EVE for a very long time, as I said I've been here for 16 years and just over one month now and although I have taken short breaks and one long break of four years in that time I have never put so much time into one single game that's not to say that EVE is my favourite game but it's definitely the one I've invested the most time in now keep that statement in mind because I will be returning to that statement in a little while now EVE is a game like no other that I've played it's got a depth to it that most other games just can't simply even begin to match. The complexity, the way that it all runs together, the fact that it's a single shard, the PvP, the loss, the consequences. And I like that. I really like that. That's one of the things that really drew me to EVE initially, of the fact that there are consequences to your actions. There is a pain to losing a ship. There is pain to losing your pods not quite as much now as there was but there are consequences and to that it makes you think before you do stuff and again it does make you learn from the mistakes that you make and due to the fact that their mistakes can turn out to be quite painful and once you've been ganked once you will sit down and think of how you can avoid that in the future and what you did wrong and in essence that's what EVE is it's a harsh landscape where anything goes there are consequences for people that do carry out these actions, however, that is usually felt by the person that is on the receiving end. And good, that's how it should be. And again, it's the catalyst that drives the markets and everything else within EVE. The destruction of items and ships, pods, implants, etc. drives everything that makes EVE what it is. And I think the Triglavian Abyss sites are fantastic. They look great visually and something different to what else you can do in EVE in regards to missions etc. It just mixes it up and again visually they look spectacular and I think that is a great addition. So all in all I think the implementation of the Triglavians in regards to the Abysses were very good. The only thing I think they dropped the ball slightly on were the Triglavian uh, survey data sheets and they had these so you could sell them to NPCs and make ISK which creates a bit of an ISK fountain bringing money into the game. Um, I probably would have had them, just my own thoughts here, but I would have had them part of the shipbuilding process, etc. Um, and again, then all of the Triglavian stuff would have become an ISK sink instead of bringing ISK into the game. So other than that, I think CCP did a very good job with the Triglavian Abyss sites. Now at this point I'm sure you can see where you think I'm going with this, however I can assure you that the end of this will not be the outcome that you are expecting, so please do stick with me. And that brings me neatly on to Nezha. Now as most of you are probably aware at this point that basically this system has fallen to the Triglavians which splits Amar and Jitter in half. 
Now this is obviously going to cause a few issues logistically, traveling, etc. Um, for anybody that's trying to travel between the two largest market hubs in EVE. So in order to avoid Najjar, you need to do a 43 jump round trip, I believe. Now, obviously, that adds quite a considerable amount of time, etc., onto a journey that was nine jumps. Now, I do have issues with this, and I don't have issues with this, and I'll explain why. Personally, I think it's good for the game. I think a bit of randomness and a bit of a shake-up is a good thing, and that this fact that now the two systems are broken up by such a wide distance I have no actual issues with whatsoever. The part that I do have an issue with is that anybody joining or helping the Triglavians in Najjar only needs to have a very minor sec, sta sec status with the Triglavians on a plus and it's very 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 easy to get a plus to the Edencom and the Triglavian Collective. Now that basically ruins any kind of siding with one side or another. So with five or ten minutes work you can become a neutral basically to both parties and that is a terrible mechanic on the fact that the consequences of trying to get through a system where if you aren't got if you don't have the standings to the Triglavians small tiny ships can tackle you very quickly and the Triglavians will basically finish you off. Now that all in all doesn't particularly bother me either. What does bother me is these people that have helped apparently an invasion of Empire can get minimal standings in order to help Empire be invaded can therefore afterwards just jump back into normal high sec space without any intervention from Concord without being having any real negative consequences for that action and personally I think that is a terrible game mechanic my second glaring issue with this is that the Nolsec empires initially I believe it was brave and goons uh, I think it was brave that was trying to defend Najjar and that goons came and helped to turn it to Triglavian collectives advantage now on the surface that again is is not a great game mechanic and I'll explain and I'm, I'm going to struggle with this as such but the, the Nullsec empires have their own space and they are obviously well organized well oiled well funded and you know big ups to them you know no issues with that whatsoever asking high sec people who are quite scattered small groups of people to come together to fight for a common goal isn't ever going to be as effective as the the huge behemoths that lie in Nolsec. so there was literally very little that high sec people would be able to do to influence the outcome just due to the fact that the Nolsecers are just much much better organized and that consequence will be felt by people in high sec for potentially the rest of eve who knows what they have in in store for the triglavians long term but as it currently stands this system is now shut off in high sec for any real kind of hauling between the two empire states and this brings me on to my third real big issue that i have with the triglavian invasions again as i said at the start Initially, I was like, yeah, this is this is a good thing for Eve. I quite like this. And the more I thought about it, the worse it was getting. And again, I couldn't write a post or a response to the question that would have done, done it justice without having a four-page essay on the fact. Now, one of the big things about Eve, and this comes back to my 16 years of playing, and that was high sec is generally safe. You could leave your stuff in a station and expect to come back to it. And that, I believe, is one of Eve's biggest selling points, that 
when you are in high sec and docked up in a station there is nothing that can get you there's nothing that can be done and when you leave the game for whatever reason you know whether it be sickness illness can't be bothered had enough just want a break you have always had the understanding that basically your stuff will still be there when you get back in the same system and in the same state as when you left it now I have items still in Fountain from 2005, which was the last time I was pretty much in Fountain. It could have been 2006, but either way. In the station up there in the Serpentus space, and I haven't been back there since. Now, I've not needed to go back because I know the items will still be there because they are NPC stations and they're not going anywhere. And again, this is the fundamentals of EVE. I have items scattered throughout Eve and generally I've always that's how I've always rolled but basically I will roll up to an area I will buy what I need there once I've finished I don't generally bother taking it back to high sec I just leave it in the NPC stations that reside in them areas knowing that well hopefully one day I'll come back for it and when I do it will be there waiting for me and with the multitude of changes that CCP has made over the last couple of months from stations running out of fuel um, to dropping the items etc that happened in a very very short space of time I think from the announcement to it being implemented was six weeks uh, which doesn't give people a lot of time and again it's Eve is unique in I won't say unique but Eve, one of Eve's again great selling points is the fact that when you leave stuff not a lot in the game generally changes the fundamentals stay the same the market has stayed the same, contracts have stayed the same, station mechanics have generally stayed the same. Yes, they implemented Citadels, but again, they still functioned pretty much in regards as a general station that you could leave it in space and basically if it was destroyed, your stuff would be ported to the nearest NPC station regardless. Now that's not to say that I don't agree with the change, but the fact that it was implemented so quickly now I was particularly lucky because I'd come back to the game I'd had a four year break and came back at Christmas the announcement was what somewhere in March I think and was implemented May end of May so I did have a structure but it was already destroyed before then but my point was I wouldn't have known and potentially the structure where I was keeping a lot of my stuff would have been destroyed and would have dropped pretty much everything or would have dropped everything and that would have been a huge catastrophic blow probably one where I wouldn't have recovered and probably would have just quit the game and, and that would have been it I wouldn't be here and although the Triglavian stuff isn't that harsh you could leave your stuff in a high sec system that you know you called home come back to it and find that it is now effectively zero zero or at least low sec and you could have you know freighters haulers you know billions of isk worth or just millions you know it, it doesn't even have to be a high value but depending on how long you've played the game you know it's all relative so you know you could have literally your entire eve careers worth of stuff in this system which now all of a sudden is harder to get out it's much harder to get out and as i was saying that that causes an issue on the fact that you with the amount of change that ccp's been making over the last year half a year the changes are quite drastic and really really change the dynamics of everything that has been very stable for such a long time and I don't think that is a good thing and I do like to see change I like to see things mixed up a bit however this is quite drastic and splitting the two of two empires up I don't have an issue with again I think it was probably long overdue for whatever reason um, but the way it's been done and the way it's being implemented just feels it doesn't feel particularly well done and again Eve has been one of them nice kind of unique style games where you can just finish the game today and come back in however many years you could have literally have left the game for 15 years and came back and your stuff would still have been in the same place as where you left it with nothing have changed whereas now that's not the case and 
I feel that that is an issue in regards to people leaving and coming back. You could leave the game, so to say, and return to find that your player-owned station that you know your stuff was entirely safe is now no longer there and all the stuff that was in it is gone you could find that the system that you called home which was high sec is no longer high sec now what these changes will mean long term is anybody's guess and i guess only ccp knows the answer of whether you know these will ever turn back to their original system types or whether the triglavians will expand etc but at the moment it's it's kind of fringe systems, but what happens if this becomes non-fringe systems? I don't 100% know how the, the Triglavian mechanics work in regards to taking systems, but can Primitive fall? You know, could Jitter? Could Amar? I, I'm not sure again whether it's specific point X, Y, Zs that can change, but the point is that at the moment, it's not causing people other than the haulers and the movers a great deal of problems, but it could do. And, you know, Heck, for instance, is a market hub in um, Mimitar space, which I believe is a 0 0.5 system. So, yeah, maybe they can't do the 0 0.9, etc. But Heck could fall. Um, again, I don't, I, I'm not sure if it's tied to Suns, etc. But again, is that on a whim of CCP's wants or whatever? So, you know, what happens if one of the market hubs do fall? Then what happens? Do we move everything out? Does everything... It just... It causes unnecessary problems for people returning to a game that, as I said, has been very, very static. And, again, I'm not opposed to change. I just don't necessarily like the way it's been implemented as it currently stands and how it could have been done better I don't necessarily know but what I do know if is if I'd been away for the game for a year and came back and find most of my stuff was now trapped in a triglavian system I'd be rather knocked at it and I can t whether that will drive people away from the game is anyone's guess and I guess CCP will themselves only have the numbers on that but there are a lot of big changes happening at the moment and again disruption is good change is good permanent change to something that is unprecedented in the game uh, again i'm on the fence and although so far the changes haven't really impacted me in any way shape or form that doesn't mean they won't and that's not to say that I will only really care if they start affecting me, but these changes will affect a lot of people. And most of it I see as detrimental. Now, I love this game. And again, I've been here for such a long time that, you know, it's literally part of my being. I've I live and breathe Eve or have done over the years. And uh, to say it's been sabotaged doesn't feel quite right, but I do feel that some of the decisions are a bit questionable and whether they have been rather thought out to the end is anyone's guess and again I guess we will find out in the coming months how eventually this will play out. And so to answer the initial question of do I think the Triglavian invasions or the Triglavians in general are good for Eve, the answer is yes and the answer is no. I do have problems with it. Um, and I am very in favour of some of it. Some of it has been very well implemented, looks fantastic. The invasions, for instance, you know, the system turns a lovely kind of glowy red, the music changes, it just looks visually fantastic. The abyss sites look fantastic, the ships look fantastic. The changing of sex status, etc. It's going to shake Eve up, that's for sure. And over the coming weeks or months, you know, could Jitter be cut off potentially from other areas? It is a, a, a distinct possibility. And as it currently stands, it's the NullSec alliances that will decide that in one way or another. Just due, as I said, to the, the organisational powers, the members, etc. The high seekers just don't have the coordination, the manpower and the organisation to form a fleet that can is even 
up to any kind of scratch for what is going to be needed. And on that, I would love to hear your thoughts on my ramblings there of whether you think the Triglavians are good or bad for Eve and how, you know, how you see it going, how you see it playing out potentially. Um, again, none of us have the crystal ball, so most of it is speculation. I'd be very interested to know, you know, whether your thoughts are for or against and how you feel, whether whether you've been affected, whether you are a trader um, that, you know, moves between Jitter and Amar and whether, you know, that's something you'll be continuing or or stopping from this point or even moving your operations away from Jitter. So if you've made it this far, then I applaud you for sitting through my rant, ramblings and inconsistent mumblings, I imagine, at times. Um, if you haven't subscribed, then do please think about it. Um, I do release mostly economic style videos, although I will be doing thoughts and things going forward. So if that interests you, then again, subscribe to the channel, look out for more videos. To those guys that have already subscribed, a huge thank you to everybody so far that has commented and, you know, kept me going doing what I'm doing. I have loved reading the comments. And again, you know, this video itself has sprung from a comment that, you know, somebody left on one of the videos so again I do read them and where I feel it is appropriate I will try and either answer in game or on the on YouTube itself so again thank you to everybody for listening fly safe thank you